Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I wasn't sure what video I would be doing today, but I was on Twitter and the YouTube channel Tastes Like Music, which I follow, uh, posted uh, this uh, Vulture, all 240 artists in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ranked from best to worst. And they replied with a list almost as embarrassing as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame itself. And if you haven't checked out uh, Taste Like Music's channel, I highly recommend it. They are in my uh, channel's listing on my front page. And Michael Nolan, the bottom line, another channel I've mentioned recently. He recently did a video called Should the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Be So Inclusive? Who's the man behind the curtain of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? And he actually pinned my comment because uh, he had said some nice words about me. So thank you, Michael. And I definitely, you know, these two channels are two of my favorites along with quite a few others I recently did a video on. So I'm prepared with my Johnny Cash <laughs> t-shirt to go through this. And I know some of you, you know, it's like, who cares and all that, you know, you've given up. It's just, you know, it's fun to talk about. And if you don't care about it, then don't click on this video. That's the way I look at it. But we're, I feel like we, the fans, are the, the defenders of rock and roll. And I'm the president, vice president, secretary. So I had a very quick look at it, but I, I don't, I didn't go through all of it, but they have prints on the cover. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. So should I do it from the, let's do it from the 240th, right from the bottom. And I'll just say yes or no, I guess. You know, everybody that's the thing, too. Everybody has their own opinion. And if you're a fan of a certain artist, then even if they really don't deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you're going to agree with their choice. Or if there's a band that deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, for instance, Bon Jovi, they're one of the groups I am not a fan of. But... That being said, they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, it's already not starting out that well. 240th, Stevie Nicks, although I'm sure Fleetwood Mac, of course, is in this list. So that's for her solo career, but at least she's on the list. She deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for solo. Lionel Richie, no. Nothing against Lionel Richie. He's a great talent, but he is not rock and roll. Get him out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Speak of the Devil, or Speak of Bon Jovi, 238, Bon Jovi. Yeah, they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This might be a long video. Oh my, oh my God. Tell him, Johnny. Queen is at 237. They should be way up there. 236. Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo. That's her husband, I guess. I don't, yeah, she deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but I don't understand. Wasn't Pat Benatar, was she just, wasn't it a band? But I guess, well, yeah, she deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I guess, with her husband. 235, Def Leppard. Yep, they might be, they should be a little higher, though especially with some of the artists we're going to be <laughs> looking up here. 234, Journey. I'm not a fan of Journey, but yes, they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 233, Chicago. I think they should be higher. They are very Im influential. Rush at 232 should be way higher. Kiss. Can I say no comment? <laughs> yeah, they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm not a fan, though. Whitney Houston, get her out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All of these, you know, everybody that's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, even if they're not rock and roll, definitely they're talented. But 
They shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Moody Blues should be for higher up. One of the first prog bands. Duran Duran, yes, they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 227, NWA. No, they're rap. They're not rock. Don't get me mad. Red Hot Chili Peppers, yes. ABBA. They're more, you know, they're pop, but they're, you know, pop, rock, whatever, yeah. I could see them being in. George Harrison, up higher though, thank you. Eurythmics, yes. So that's at 223. 222, Deep Purple should be up higher. 221, the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, yes, even though they're blues, they're, you know, a lot, the way I look at it, uh, a lot of rock, you know, classic rock fans would probably have some blues in their collection. I have Canned Heat and a couple of others. Jeff Beck, yes, 220. 219, Hall and Oates, yes. Percy Sledge, When a Man Loves a Woman, yeah, it's Pops. Dr. John, yes, 217. Little Anthony and the Imperials, kind of a doo-wop. I can see, I guess. Gene Pitney. Yeah, some of the older stars. Foo Fighters, yes. 214. Bill Withers. I'm not, I don't know enough about him. Green Day, yes. They were, or are, or are huge. Cat Stevens, yes. He's not rock, but he's, like I said, I used to have Cat Stevens albums, and I'm a rock guy. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, yeah. Buddy Guy, yeah. 208, Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan, yes. Bobby Darren, such a talent. I can see that. The Love and Spoonful at 206, yes. Donovan at 205, yes. John Mellencamp, yes. I won't, uh, every number, I'll just, the, the name. Billy Joel, yes. The Zombies, yes. The Dells, not sure about that one. Bonnie Raitt, yep. The Dave Clark Five, yes, at 199. Solomon Burke, yes. The Moonglows, well, uh, Peter Graves is in the Moonglows, so they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Alice Cooper at 196, I think he, he should be higher. The Band and Soul, you know, lump them together, though. Depeche Mode, they're not rock, but like I said, a lot of people, a lot of rock fans would have Depeche Mode in their collection. I have Kraftwerk. 194, Buffalo Springfield, yes. Metallica, 193, even that seems a little low. Steve Miller, <laughs> I love uh, Steve Miller's speech <laughs> about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He wasn't too happy. 192, yeah. Del Shannon, yes. Genesis at 190. Come on now. They should be up there. Way up there. The Doors at 189. They should be up higher. The Vent I mean, the Ventures are great, but above the Doors. 187, Guns N' Roses. I'm not a fan, but yes, they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 186, Clyde McFadder. Not really sure who he is. Van Halen at 185. I'm not a huge fan of them, but they, that seems a little low. The OJs at 184. They're not rock and roll. But then, I would consider Sly and the Family Stone that they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, you know, it, <laughs> it's everybody's choice, right? But it's just when it gets ridiculous, like when Dolly Parton is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Doobie Brothers at 183, yes. The Righteous Brothers, yes. Darlene Love, yes. Bobby Blue Bland at 180. Brenda Lee at 179. Isaac Hayes at 178. Yeah. Small Faces, Faces, yep. Yeah. At 177, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers at 176, the Mamas and the Papas at 175, that sounds right. 
Electric Glade Orchestra at 174. I think they deserve to be higher. Nine Inch Nails at 173. Richie Valens at 172. The Flamingos at 171. So, so far it's not too bad. 170 Aerosmith. Booker T and the MGs at 169. Jay Z or Jay Z <laughs> at 168. <sighs> so, once again, at 168, Jay Z. For me personally, I have nothing against rap music at all. I'm not a fan, <laughs> but you know, I respect rap music, but he should not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 167, The Four Seasons, yes. Uh, 166, John Lee Hooker, yes. 165, Jimmy Cliff. See, see that's reggae, but this is where, <laughs> you know, you can argue all day about it. Laura Nairo at 164. Dion, yep, at 163. Gene Vincent at 162. Nina, Nina Simone at 161. The Isley Brothers at 160. Martha and the Vandellas. Linda Ronstadt at 158. This one, tell them, Johnny. Black Sabbath at 157, one of the most influential bands ever. 156, Lloyd Price. 155, Joan Baez. She's not rock and roll, I'm sorry. The Bee Gees at 154, they should be higher. Even though, you know, somebody, well, they're not rock and roll, but <laughs> once again, a lot of rock music fans bought, you know, especially the 60s Bee Gees albums and even the disco years. 153, Notorious B.I.G. Should not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 152, Heart. Yes, I'm not a big fan of them, but they should be in the Hall of Fame. Speaking of yes, yes, at 151. Oh, the Prague Corner is going to be so upset. <laughs> no. I mean, they are one of my all-time favorite bands. And they should be a lot higher. And not just because I'm a fan. The Young Rascals at 150, yes. The Animals at 149, yes. Jefferson Airplane at 148, yes. Carly Simon. I'm not sure about that one. The Hollies, yes, at 146. The Four Tops at 145. Pearl Jam at 144, yes. The Eagles at 143. I'm not a fan of the Eagles, but that seems kind of low. Eric Clapton at 142 seems very low. Earth, Wind and Fire at 141. Traffic at 140. <sighs> so Dolly Parton is above Black Sabbath in the rankings <laughs> for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at 139. That makes sense. And Dolly Parton is such an amazing talent and songwriter, but she shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. James Taylor at 138. He's not really rock either, but I used to buy James Taylor albums, and I'm a rock guy. Bill Haley at 137. 136, Dire Straits, yes. Carole King, definitely, at 135. Cream at 134 seems a bit low. Blondie at 133, Dwayne Eddy at 132, The Staples Singers at 131, Curtis Mayfield at 130, Dusty Springfield at 129, The Cure at 128, they deserve to be in there, Creedence Clearwater Revival at 127, sounds kind of low, Etta James at 126, Gladys Knight and the Pips, <laughs> rock and roll, <laughs> at 125. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, at 124, that seems kind of low. Neil Diamond, definitely. Uh, the Go-Go's, yeah, but they, I think they should be lower. Yeah, especially when Black Sabbath is way below <laughs> the Go-Go's. Uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and Young, at 121. Ruth Brown at 120. The
The Birds at 119 seems low. Leonard Cohen at 118. Jimmy Reed at 117. Wilson Pickett. Laverne Baker. Cheap Trick at 114. Yeah. Frank Zappa at 113. I consider him a musical genius and I think he should be a lot higher. Todd Rundgren, once again a musical genius, 112. I mean for his solo career and all of the production work he's done, even with Sparks, Meatloaf, The Tubes, and many more, should be higher I think. Uh, Janet Jackson. See, I would think Michael Jackson deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I guess Janet Jackson should too. I used to buy her albums. Albert King at 110. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel at 109. That's way too low. The Platters. Tina Turner seems kind of low, 107. Leonard Skinner at 106. Bobby Womack, Jackson Brown. The Ronettes. Paul Simon at 102. That's way, way, way too low. The Impressions. Carl Perkins at 100. The Police at 99. The Cars at 98. ACDC at 97. That seems really low. Peter Gabriel at 96. He's way above Genesis. I don't know about that. Ricky Nelson at 95. Bob Seeger definitely at 94. Fleetwood Mac at 93. No way. They should be higher. Rod Stewart at 92. Eminem at 91. I used to buy Eminem records. I'm a rock guy, like I keep saying. So, you know, this is where you know, if, if I'm saying Jay-Z shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and I say Eminem should, then I'm being racist. and I'm not racist at all. So I don't think he should really be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I don't think any rapper should. Tom Waits at 91. Sam and Dave. Santana at 88. Tupac Sh Shakar. I don't know how you, is that how you pronounce it? He's a rapper. Uh, Grateful Dead at 86. Yep, they should be in. Madonna at 85. See, she's more pop, but I used to buy her records. I'm a rock guy. I don't know if you've heard that before or not. <laughs> Hank Ballard at 84. Lou Reed at 83. Hmm. I'm a huge Lou Reed, fan. Lou Reed fan. That seems a bit low. The Yardbirds at 82. The Temptations at 81. The Jackson 5, yeah, they should, yeah, they should be in there. But, it, once again, it's like, <laughs> you know, everybody has their own opinions, right? T-Rex, yes. The Z ZZ Top at 78, yes. Paul McCartney at 77. For his solo career. Get out of town. Tell him, Johnny. The Shirelles at seven. The Shirelles above Paul McCartney. That makes sense. The Allman Brothers at 75. Jackie Wilson, Jackie Wilson at 74. Big Joe Turner. So Big Joe Turner is above Paul McCartney. No disrespect to that artist. Donna Summer is way above, way above Paul McCartney. And so is Roy Orbison. Roy Orbison. But yeah, Donna Summer, she did kind of, disco rock so see i could see her being in the rock and roll hall of fame but not above paul mccartney roy orbison definitely bb king he's blues but yes janice joplin yes beastie boys yes but they're more rap but they did you gotta fight for your right to party it was a i bought their album Eddie Cochran at 67. The Coasters at 66. Patti Smith at 65 seems a bit high. Especially, you know, with <laughs> Black Sabbath and Paul McCartney way below her. But I love Patti Smith. The Everly Brothers at 64. That seems kind of 
low because they were they influenced a lot of artists like the Beatles. The Drifters at 63, the Supremes at 62. Yeah, they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Elton John at 61 seems low. Michael Jackson at 60, that seems low. Little Willie John at 59. U2 at 58. I'm not a fan of U2 anymore. But, yeah. Steely Dan at 57. Talking Heads at 56. The Pretenders at 55. Radiohead at 54. I love this artist, but he's way too high and he's above <laughs> Paul McCartney, Black Sabbath, and the rest. Randy Newman at 53. The Beach Boys at 52. That seems way too low. Bruce Springsteen at 51, yes. The Who at 50 seems low. Sam Cooke at 49. Ray Charles at 48. That seems kind of low. Miles Davis at 47. You know, he's jazz. But then he kind of switched to, you know, Bitches Brew and jazz. Kind of jazz rock. I've, I've got Bitches Brew. Uh, so 47 seems maybe a, a bit low. Johnny friggin' Cash at 46. He's country, but so many rock fans love Johnny Cash, and I have Johnny Cash in my CD collection, and I'm a rock guy. So 46, maybe a little low. Yeah, and above Al Green at 45. John Lennon at 44. <laughs> Paul's not going to like that. <laughs> R.E.M., yeah, R.E.M. above John Lennon and Paul McCartney. I don't think so, although, you know, I love R.E.M. The Stooges at 42. Oh, nothing wrong with the Stooges. I, I have the Stooges albums. But they shouldn't be at 42. Roxy Music at 41. I have Roxy Music. They shouldn't be in 41st place. The Kinks at 40. Yes, they should be up high or higher. S no, not Smokey Robinson above the Kinks and Paul McCartney and John Lennon. Nothing against Smokey Robinson. But yeah, he should be. Like he was, he influenced the rock, a lot of the rock '60s bands, the Beatles, for instance. So yeah, he should be up high. So respect to him. The band at 38. The Velvet Underground at 37. Fats Domino at 36. Yes. Neil Young at 35. Yes. Pink Floyd at 34. Well, I'd have them higher, but at least they're <laughs> in the top 50. Bob Marley at 33. See, that, that's where, you know, Bob Marley above Pink Floyd in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for the rankings. Doesn't seem right. And then above him, Par Parliament Funkadelic at 32. They should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but it's just too high, I think. Jerry Lee Lewis at 31, yes. Public Enemy at 30. <sighs> Van Morrison at 29. Stevie Wonder at 28, yes. Maybe a, maybe a bit low, though. Sly and the Family Stone, definitely, at 27. Run DMC. See, yeah, <laughs> because they changed, you know, doing that Walk This Way with Aerosmith. They kind of changed music in a way, so they definitely should be up high like that. And Marvin Gaye at 25 is too high. Elvis Costello, I'm a huge Elvis Costello fan, but he's rated, ranked too high at 24. Joni Mitchell at 23, yes. The Jimi Hendrix experience at 22. Uh, yes, but I think a lot of you would say he should be a lot higher. David Bowie at... Well, Glenn's not going to be happy. <laughs> Glenn Kellaway. At 21, I think he should be higher. He's one of the greats. Aretha Franklin at 20. She rocks. <sighs> 
Number 19, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. They definitely, you know, they kind of started rap music. Groundbreaking production, but... Bo Diddley, yes. The Clash, yes, at number 17. Ike and Tina Turner, it's, it's too high. I, I, you know, I feel it's too high, but definitely in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Sex Pistols at 15. I love the Sex Pistols, but that's way, <laughs> ranked way too high. Especially when they only really released one studio album. <sighs> Led Zeppelin at 14. The Rolling Stones at 13. Little Richard at 12. Yes. Otis Redding at 11. Mm. See, I agree with Little Richard, but not o Otis Redding. Muddy Waters at 10. I know he, he was a big influence on the Rolling Stones and other bands, but... Buddy Holly at number 9, definitely. Nirvana at number 8. Oh, they were a huge influence. But ranking them at number 8, I don't know. Number 7, Ramones. I even think they are ranked too high, but... Prince at number six. Yeah, he should be right up there for sure. James Brown. He, he's funk, but he's... A lot of people have him in their CD collections, rock people. Number five, yeah. Elvis Presley at number four. Bob Dylan at number three. The Beatles are ranked at number two. I have no idea what number one is. Maybe it's Sparks. Chuck Berry. Well, can't really argue with that in a way, but because <laughs> he influenced the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and blah, 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 but, you know. And that's where, you know, being a fan of you know, the, the Beatles will always be my favorite band, and that's when people will argue maybe Chuck Berry deserves to be number one. Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, overall, that, that's, what, that's what gets a lot of us upset with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It should be called, if it was just called the Music Hall of Fame, then we wouldn't be doing these videos. But like I said, you really should check out Michael Nolan's The Bottom Line, Should the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Be So Inclusive? It's really excellent. And also check out Taste Like Music, who inspired me to do this video. So, I'd love your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.